Or is this, is this full-time MMA now? Uh, I love full-time MMA right now. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full-time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And we have a great straw weight fight on our hands between Jessica Andraj and Karolina Kovalkiewicz. And in my mind, this is for sure a title eliminator as Jessica Andraj is already the number one contender. So if Karolina Kovalkiewicz was able to beat Jessica Andraj, she'll become the number one contender. And as of right now, if Rose Namajunas was ready for a fight tomorrow, Jessica, Jessica Andraj would already be getting the title shot because her last performance versus Claudia Gadea was a brilliant performance. She ragged one of the best grapplers in the strawweight division and she earned her nickname mini cyborg even chris cyborg herself called jessica and Drudge mini cyborg after that fight she you know she did um pretty bad things to claudia in that fight and that's that's actually a lot there's a lot to be said for that claudia gadea has been in the top five of the strawweight division former title challenge former title challenger against joanna on jacek and one of the best grapplers in the division so with that being said um i felt like jessica and Drudge, i'm sure a lot of people did felt like she earned her title shot but the thing is rose namunis already had a title fight a rematch with yuani on jacek book and now that that fight is over rose namunis may be out for a little while either with injury or, or personal reasons you know after winning her last fight i believe she might have a little bit of a lingering injury possibly but either way jessica and is a girl that probably wants that paycheck like okay if i if i can I, you know maybe she doesn't want to wait until the end of the year or whenever Rose Namajunas might be ready to come back. In the meantime, in between time, I'll fight another top five girl, get another paycheck, and if I win the fight, which is very likely because Jessica Andraj is a savage, if she wins the fight, she's still got that title shot lined up. You know what I'm saying? So, and for Karolina Kovalkiewicz, this is going to be a hard fight, but it's a great opportunity. You know, you who she probably didn't expect to be getting a title eliminator fight, a number one contender fight, um, especially with Jessica Andrade's last performance. She could have already been fighting for the title. So with, with that being said, Karolina Kovalkiewicz is going to get a huge opportunity here. It's going to be a tough fight. Uh, Karolina Kovalkiewicz, though, is one of the better strikers in the strawweight division. So if she can keep this fight standing, she can definitely have some success in this fight. But that's going to be pretty tough for um, for Karolina Kovalkiewicz. As I believe, was, wasn't it Karolina Kovalkiewicz? I think Claudia Gadea submitted her in the first round not too long ago. One second. I got to get that fact. All right, I got it. Yeah, it was about one year ago today in June, actually. Um, Claudia Gadea was able to submit Karolina Kovalkiewicz in the first round. Now, since then, Karolina Kovalkiewicz picked up a win over Jody Esquibel and also a split decision victory over Felice Herrick at UFC 223. So, Karolina Kovalkiewicz has picked up two wins, but her opponents, Jody Esquibel and Felice Herrick, definitely aren't the level grapplers that you're, you're seeing in Claudia Gadea or even Jessica Andrade. So, this doesn't seem like a great matchup for Karolina Kovalkiewicz. You know, the, uh, definitely has a tough task ahead of her, but this is a fight that Karolina Kovalkiewicz is always, she does, she's not a girl that's ever going to say no to a fight in my mind. She's like the Donald Cowboys, she's like Donald Cowgirl Cerrone, you know what I'm saying? That should be her nickname, Karolina Cowgirl Kovalkiewicz, because she's an anyone, anywhere, anytime type of fighter as well. I ain't never seen Karolina Kovalkiewicz duck a fade, and I never think that day will come. If she lost this fight to Jessica Andrade, and the UFC said, hey, man, the only fight we have is another fight with Jessica Andrade. There's no fucking buddy that I see Carolina Kovalkiewicz turning a fight down with. If Valentina Shevchenko was the flyweight champion and the UFC said, hey, Carolina, only fight we got for you right now is Valentina, but it's a title fight. Guess what Carolina's doing? She's motherfucking zippity doo dah taking that fight. Are you kidding me? Carolina Kovalkiewicz is a motherfucking gangster in my eyes, bro. And you know, and it, you know, she kind of it kind of shown in her response to Conor McGregor's apology. She was like, I "Don't care if Conor McGregor apologized. That wasn't really anything to me. I've seen a lot worse stuff growing up in my childhood, and that's kind of what I was bringing up. Like, yo, I get it, you guys. This could have been a lot worse. Conor broke a window." But we have to look at it in perspective and realize Connor just broke a window. There wasn't no gunshots. There wasn't no knives pulled out. There wasn't even no fucking actual violence that took place. There wasn't nothing like that happened. A, a window got broken. A couple fighters, you know, 
got a couple scrapes from it or a couple cuts could have been worse for Ray Borg you know of course it was a cornea scratch but he got a fight booked a month later so it wasn't as bad as it could have been but I'm just saying that's that was Carolina Kovalkiewicz's response like that wasn't really much to me I, I've seen a lot worse growing up you know what I'm saying so she's a fucking badass and that's why I'm a huge fan of Carolina Kovalkiewicz um so with that being said yes yeah, she's got a tough task ahead of her and Jessica Andrade she could very easily get ragdolled in this fight that's a real possibility but it is what it is Carolina Kovalkiewicz is gonna go out on her shield and she's gonna get back on her horse and be ready to fight so let the full-time family know what you think in the comments about Carolina Kovalkiewicz versus Jessica Andrade because I'm pumped and also this is UFC 228 it's likely taking place in Dallas Texas that's not confirmed but guess what who else is on that card Nico Montano versus Valentina Shevchenko you heard it here first it is super close to being um, done in my opinion it is in the works I mean, we haven't got the contract signed but even just today I believe Valentina Shevchenko posted like UFC 228 or something on her social media to that effect and you know there's been rumbling so this is gonna be a big card for WMMA in my mind UFC 228 with this fight here title eliminator winner of this likely fights Rose Namajunas and also possibly Valentina Shevchenko is crowned as the flyweight queen holy smokes gonna be a great day of fights it's a great time to be an mma fan and a w mma fan let the full-time family know what you think in the comments and before we go shout out to all the full-time mma white belts that have hit the subscribe button make sure you also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time i upload a video and if you want to become a full-time mma blue belt purple belt brown belt or black belt all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash full-time mma i'm out Bye, Felicia.